guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist, and I just wanted to pop on camera because it feels like it's been like a minute. I mean, I'm feeling some kind of way, like I'm missing y'all or something. Um, now, I know if you follow my channel, you keep up with my little postings as sporadic as they can be, then you know I recently posted a video about headband curls on my locks where I achieved some fabulous waves just by tucking my locks around a cute little headband that wasn't really even a headband, it was kind of bootleg. But, um, yeah, if you didn't see that video, you need to flip back one video and go check that out. I'll try to remember to put the link below for you. Um, but if you want to get some fabulous, amazing waves in your locks, then that's what you want to do. Now, if you're looking at my hair for a, an idea of what you're going to get, this is not it. These are some pipe cleaner curls that are in desperate need of being washed away, but they are just living and working and I am working them okay until I feel like washing my hair because I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do the pre-twist method or just straight out wash my hair because it's been like a month since I or more since I just straight out wash without doing the pre-twist method and I don't want to overwork the pre-twist method but it has been working for me but that is not the purpose of this video but again if you want to get you some waves maybe for Easter for springtime, you feeling fabulous. You just wanted out to some loose fabulousness happening. You need to check out my headband, um, headband uh, lock curls on a uh, tutorial that I just did. Because yes, that's where you want to be. So um, again, popping on here. It's been a while. Saying hey, if you follow me on Instagram, then you like, girl, you ain't been nowhere. We've been seeing you post like really. You ain't been nowhere. So you need to follow me on Instagram. If you if you feel some kind of way when I don't post videos and you feel like you might want to know, what, I wonder what she doing today. I wonder what she eating. Or did she drink a green smoothie this morning? You need to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post just everything. Just all my feelings and thoughts and emotions and moments. They go on Instagram to share with you all, to bond with you. And I talk back to people and I look at y'all pictures and I comment and y'all be cutting up. Y'all be cutting up, okay? For those of you who are following me on Instagram. But if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be following me on Instagram. I actually think I'm going to do something on my Instagram. I see people doing giveaways and stuff on their Instagram and I, I need to get with the program. I've been slack, okay? But anyway, that is not what this is. I'm two and a half minutes in and that's not what this video is even about. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that I got a package today. So yes, your girl placed an order to one of her old friends, Elf Eyes, Lips, and Face. I have not placed an order with Elf in forever, but I was in a situation where I needed to place an order. Um, I know they have their products in Target, so you know that's kind of slowed down my interest in ordering from them. Um, but there was something that I could not find at my local Target, and I must say I'm really excited by them because apparently the last time I was ordering for them, they were still shipping things from California or something like that. But uh, this package came from New Jersey, and it came a lot faster, so I'm excited about them for having a warehouse closer to me. But yeah, let me show you what I got. $2 shipping, y'all. That was the motivation. Actually, $1.99. I saved a penny. Shipping. But I'm going to show you what I got. Starting with the reason why I placed my order. My justification was that I needed a new blending eye brush. And I got two of them. I got two of them because these things for $1, I mean, I'm no makeup expert. I don't know anything about, you know, synthetic brushes versus natural brushes versus animal hair brushes versus, you know, this high-end brand brush versus, you know, the brush that somebody made in a you know bathroom anyway I don't know anything about all that but I do know that I have had one of these brushes since at least a couple years since I started even trying to mess with eyeshadow and that poor little brush gets used on the regular um, when you are trying to blend out in your crease when you pack some eyeshadow on either all over your lid into the crease and it's just looking like it's caked up in there this is the brush that you need to just make that you know smooth out for you and just look amazing like you are a makeup artist like I feel like I'm the queen of blending when I use my blending brush now I can do a little blending with my regular eyeshadow brush but this brush is the one that comes in and just softens it up and just makes it so pretty for me so I had to get not one but two they're only a dollar and I got the two um, because I'm going to probably keep the second one out because the other one, again, it gets dirty. I use it all the time. 
I'm going to keep this one out as a backup so I could use, sometimes I like to just use it when it's clean and not put product on it, but then sometimes I like to, when I do a smoky eye, I like to put some product on it. So I'm going to keep one to make it smoke, one, you know, that I can use with product and one without product. But I got this one as a backup just to stick, you know, in that emergency drawer for when the other one falls apart because I can only imagine. I'm surprised it's still holding up because I use it on the regular. So I got two of those. And then I got this lock and seal by e.l.f. Oh, let me just say, I paid for all this with my own money. They're not paying me. I would love if they watch me or somebody would watch me and make me some offers. But I just bought this and I'm just sharing. Okay, let me just put that in there. Okay, back. Now, I got this to seal my eyebrows. I do have another product that I've used in the past, but it's getting running a little low, and I decided I wanted to try this. Um, it's apparently you're supposed to be able to use it to seal uh, eyeliner, which I don't know if I'm going to put this on my eyeliner. I don't know about that. Um, shadow, lipsticks, blush, brow color, which is what I plan to use for, and more. Now, I don't know what the more is. I don't know if I can, like, seal my windows or you know, cracks in the wall where, you know, the draft is coming through or something. Like, I don't know if that's what you can use it for. I don't know what more is. I'm going to have to Google that. But I got some of this to try. And it comes with a little brush, which is really cool. So um, I'm excited about that. And then I got some corrective concealer. Now, I know, y'all look at me now. I'm pretty clean face today. Uh, I just put some blush on my regular old skin. I don't have any, like, major things that I need to cover up. But occasionally when life has really been, you know, coming at me, you know, sometimes sleep is not that great. I do, you know, I feel like I get some little shadowy effects going on under my eyes. So I like to use concealer to brighten that up. But sometimes the concealer I have, which is an e.l.f. brand, none of the shades really seems to make it bright. It just seems like it makes it look worse. So I was watching some stuff on corrective concealers. And this is the Neutralize and Brighten. So I'm hoping that these colors in here, um, it says, let's see, green to neutralize redness for acne and lilac to uh, brighten dull yellow tones and then I think one of these other ones is supposed to help smooth out like some darkness under the eyes or something so I'm gonna play around with this and see yeah see see what happens with that with one of those for when I need it I don't need it all the time I just I, was, I need to spend fifteen dollars to get my one ninety nine shipping so I was always curious about that then so I have really gotten into lipstick you guys like you can't tell me nothing. I used to be like kind of just a chapstick clear gloss girl. Then I moved up to like some tinted glosses. Then I have moved up to like pigmented lip colors, really pigmented lip glosses. And now I am straight lipstick. Uh, not straight lipstick, but I use more lipstick than I've ever worn in the past. Uh, or either lip pencil. Thanks to the cosmetics aisle at my Dollar Tree, my lipstick game is is up here now because I love me some LA colors lipstick I don't care if it is just a dollar you know I know people using all kinds of fabulous products like Mac and all those high ends your girl just can't see herself spending that kind of money so I'm all about the dollar lipstick um, but I will say shout out to my girl you know who you are you brought me some Ruby Woo now I will admit I was really kind of coveting other people's Ruby Woo every time they post the videos about Ruby Woo and I was like is it really all of that well let me just say I when I went to Texas one of my girlfriends came down from Dallas to Austin to hang out with us and she brought me some Ruby Woo because I let her borrow my um Soka Size video and she just wanted to thank me and she brought me a tube of Ruby Woo let me tell you I put that Woo on I can't even wear it every day I'm gonna tell you it goes to my head. I put it on and I'm feeling some kind of way, some kind of fabulous way. So I can't even wear it. I can't wear it every day. I'd like put it in a special place. If you saw, I posted a picture on Instagram when I put it on. I'm trying to tell you. I'm still trying to figure out what my alter ego name is for when I put the woo on. Because ugh, I just, I wasn't even ready. It's, it's, it's fabulous. It's a fabulous red. And I have some cute red lipsticks that, you know, and I think red works with my, you know, with me anyway. But that yeah, woo. Mm, they put it on me. Yeah. But anyway, so back to the whole thing about lipsticks. I purchased some of the e.l.f. dollar lipsticks because, again, your girl is all about the dollar. And I'm going to show you the colors that I got. So what I'm wearing now is this really nice, peachy, nudie, neutral color. And it's called Captivating. Now, when I got it, I bumped the edge already. But when I got it and I was looking at it, I was like, that looks kind of, I don't like it's going to look 
like it looks on my lips but it does you guys and it's kind of you know when you first put it on like that first mmm when you first put it on it's kind of like mmm this is not super creamy but you gotta warm it up a little bit that's all and then it's nice and creamy and that's what it looks like on my hand it is such a cute color because I saw people swatches and it looks so peachy but when I saw it at first in the tube I was like this is not gonna look right but I'm in love so captivating I also got, um, I didn't even take these out, shame on me, and this video is getting long. I also got um, Voodoo, mm -hmm. Voodoo, yes, this is Voodoo, let's do a quick swatch of that. It's kind of like a berry, it's not a vibrant like red tone, it's more berry colored, so that's Voodoo, mm -hmm. you didn't know about me. Um, and then I also got Flirtatious, yes, yes, which is a really cute, like, salmon-looking pink in the tube. And I'm going to just put that right next to the Voodoo. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of a cross between sort of a, I guess it's kind of bubblegumish, but mauve like rosy, not, not like, bam, neon pink. But that's going to be cute. I'm going to work that out. Uh, and then I also got Charming because I can be, you know, I think maybe, maybe I bought lipsticks that kind of reflect all my mini personalities. Now don't y'all start thinking I got issues or anything, I'm just saying. This one's called Cat, uh, Charming, which is another kind of, this is more mauve, I'd say. I'm going to put Charming right next to, yeah, this is definitely more mauve. Charming right next to Flirtatious. So that is, um flirtatious and then charming is here so it's deeper it's more rosy so that does make that look like a brighter pink when you do that next to it so I'm pretty excited I think I picked some really good shades you guys I always google other people's swatches before I try to buy certain things just to kind of get an idea and I try to do swatches on women of color versus you know women of other not color um this last one mm -hmm, is called nostalgic and it is right here. It's, it's it's pretty bright. Like I'm gonna have to maybe put a pencil with that, uh, cause it's yeah, it's kind of nudie, but maybe not my nude. But it's I don't know. I kind of I think I can work with it. So I got that. And then since I've been wearing more lipstick and I gotta keep my lips tight and right, I decided to try their little lip exfoliator. I read the reviews on it on the website, and people were saying it was really good. So. Um, I decided to grab one. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, okay. It smells smell like mm, brown sugar, vanilla. Smells good. And so this is what it looks like. I don't know how well you can see. This thing is not focusing good. But it's got little granules of... Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the actual exfoliating agent is in this um, it's just telling all the oils and the wax and the shea butter and the sugar so I'm sorry sugar first thing sitting up there in my face sugar so smells really good so I'm looking forward to using that and keeping my lips although in the summertime I don't have as much issue as in the winter time with my lips even getting slightly chapped but yeah guys so that's what I picked up um if you like this you know video you know, let me know if you want to hear more about some of the products that I didn't really go into detail on. Let me know. And I also did do a small Ross purchase when I was in Texas. And what else did I? Where else did I go? I went to Ross, and I went. Oh, I went to Charm and Charlie's. If you want to see that, let me know, and I'll you know I'll throw a video up. You know, I'm trying to get back into the groove. So yeah, guys, I hope you're doing well. And you know, I am rocking this, captivating. I am loving this color. I, I might actually, you know what? I might actually have to buy me a second to. Because I am loving this. Oh, this is so cute. Anyway, yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Hope you're doing well. Bye.